Hello, welcome to Annex Dinner Table. I'm Cassandra. And I'm Devin. And today we're going to be reviewing Lords of Vegas. Um, Lords of Vegas is a tile placement, dice placement game where you're building casinos and then how many casinos you have in the right color gets you points and then the more points wins. I think the concept is definitely something that I haven't seen a lot with the Vegas theme and they really stuck to that theme in all aspects. They have gambling there and just, they really stuck with that. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot, lots of like nuances to the like concept work. Um, it, with the casinos, you could have left it just there, but being able to build the casinos and expand the casinos and then gamble kind of really roots it in that kind of vibe of... Yeah, Vegas. and like owning things where just because you're in a casino doesn't mean you're the boss of the casino, which I think is very um, subtly concept of like that you never truly own something in Vegas. Yeah. Um, the artwork, I was kind of blah for me. Like the boxes, cool, but nothing to like write home about. And then the board was very, I felt kind of plain looking. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of detail if you look into the nuance. It's kind of in the gray area of the board, like cars zipping around, the, the mm. names of the streets that are there. The cards actually have some pretty decent detail work on them also um, for each of the unique casinos they've made um, and giving it a pass that it's a 10 year old game at this point. So it's true, it is 10 years old um, and like as you normally do, you pay a lot more attention to it. Like I looked at it and went, I understand where I'm supposed to put my pieces. That works for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Moving to game mechanics, as I kind of mentioned, you have this whole um, dice placement leading to building these casinos. Um, I think it's one of those first of its kind kind of things, like it's the first one I've ever played at least, where you have dice placement, but it leads into um, almost like area control in a way with you getting to um, control that boss of who's the casino and constantly fighting for it. Yeah, I think for me the, the, the interesting mechanic here that I thought was unique was using the dice not only as a way to roll and to have a random number, um, but also as a way to denote a value. Um, by having unique tiles with the dice cuts out, cutouts in them and then using them not only to just like sit in a pile when they're not in use but actually live on the board and represent a like graphical representation of who's in charge and who is the boss. Um, that's something I haven't seen and you know it's for a 10 year old game it's pretty pretty inventive you know. Um, yeah. Um, this one's pretty easy to understand. I think that um, it had a good instruction manual, especially for being 10 years old, that even nowadays you read it and there's very few things where you're like, I don't understand this or there could be confusion. Um, very well written and easy to understand and not too long. Yeah. I mean, the game mechanics basically are simple and it's one of those things where the basic fundamentals of playing the game are simple. Um, it's the strategy of it all, and especially when you factor in things like sprawling, you get that press your luck type a aspects to it, um, where it's like you get a momentary burst of I'm in the lead, I'm in the lead, but someone draws that card and you're knocked back down again. Um, yeah. So well, that that does have a lot of those. Like I would say, at its heart, it's a dice placement game, but it has, as you were saying, just a lot of different things that it brings in there to help make it more interesting. Yeah. Um, but even for that base mechanic being pretty simple, the box says 12 plus to play. I think strategy wise that's definitely true. 
it's there's a lot of nuance in strategy for when to sprawl and how to just work with your money and how much things cost really kind of does need that age. Yeah, and, and I think it's kind of the, the, there's depth to the strategy in this one. You they could probably play and you know be be participating at a younger age, but I think it would not hold their attention because a lot of the nuance to this game isn't in flashy art or in good, it's in the strategically trying to plan your next move and make your money last and oh, I need to gamble in order to get myself an additional five million dollars so that I can you know sprawl or something like that. Um, and it's it's that level of intellect and, and strategy that's just not good. It's going to be lost on someone younger than that. Yeah. And you are constantly thinking because you get money every turn and someone is doing something that possibly affects you in your casinos every turn. You really need to be constantly thinking about what you're going to do and that's changing every turn. And I feel like younger kids under 12 tend to kind of it not thinking about the game just interacting with like the money or something itself and then get to their turn and then you sit there as they try to think to do something and it's like oh my god why haven't you been thinking about this your entire like the entire round you should have been kind of thinking about what you're going to be doing yeah, but like I pointed out in our playthrough, there is a legitimate strategy to just letting your lots lay. You're never going to get any points, but we're keeping getting money in the early game, you know, and then finally buying a casino with the lowest cards that have been pulled, you know, it could be legitimate, and yeah. It's true. But I've never played that strategy, and it kind of scares me to even try. <laughs> um, overall, I think that this is a good one just to own... It is 10 years old, but it still really sticks with uh, a good concept and good mechanics that will bring you back to it time and time again. Yeah, and I think if you can get your hands on the original uh, expansion pack up, um, it adds uh, additional players to the game and you know the dynamic of being able to build your casinos upward, um, as the name implies. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you want notifications of our newest videos, hit that bell icon.